Hi everyone. This video is going to walk you through using the master slide. So I get a lot of people that want to use the master slide to lock content, but the master slide is so much more than that. You can actually create templates that you want to give out to students. You can make this thematic for your slides that you want to give out to students or maybe for a presentation. There's just so many options with the master slide. It's just not only good for locking content, even though that is a great feature. So I opened a new Google Slides here, just a blank slide, nothing in it yet. To use the master slide, we're going to go to slide and edit master. And this is what the master slide looks like in its original format. Over here, you have the master. I like to call this the master of the master. Whatever changes you make to the master of the master slide will change all of the layouts down here. If I were to, let's say, paint can this red, you see everything that had that same style change to that red background color. This master, however you have the layout done, whatever you do to it will show up on every other layout. Now the layouts are all different types of layouts. These are the layouts that you select from up here when you create a new slide when you're creating your presentations. And as you can see, each layout is titled. So this is what a title slide would look like. You have the title and the subtitle. Down here, this is what a section header would look like, title and body. These are probably the most used selections from a layout. For instance, let's say I was doing some kind of presentation and I wanted to put maybe a logo on here. So that could be anything. So I'm just gonna use a random picture for right now. So I've inserted this dog, but obviously, as you can see, like I said, whatever happens on the master happens to the rest of the layout. So now I have a dog smack in the middle of all of my layouts. This is way too big, so I'm gonna just resize this and I'm gonna pop it down in the left corner. All of my layouts have that dog there. So if I were to X out of the master and come over, I now have this picture there and it will be on anything I choose to select. And so now my logo or this picture of a dog is now there. All right, so now I'm back into the master. I'm gonna keep my dog. I want to edit the font choices for this. So as a title font here, I may only want this to be a certain font style or size. And so maybe I want this to always be 30 size font with this particular font selected. And as you can see, that actually changed on all my layouts. So that's what my students will be using or I will be using. So I don't have to change this on every slide. Before, I would add a new slide and then go up and change the title and change the font size to what I want all my fonts to be. But this option takes away all the time I spent on that and now I can do it in one swift move by changing that in the master. The other thing I always find myself doing is changing the text and the fonts for the main body and of course the bullets. So these are the basic bullets that are usually used, but I wanna come up here and I want everything to look like this. This will be my bullet and I can also change the font of this and use, I don't know, architect's daughter. So now this is all architect's daughter. And so that is the case here as well and so on. The next thing is to change colors. I like messing with the colors. So if I come over here, I can select colors and it asks me to choose what I want to do. So the text and background of one here is this. So if I were to change this to, let's say red, it changes all of my fonts to red. And then the background too is the background of the entire slides presentation. So I'm gonna just change that to yellow for right now. And then if I scroll down on some of the layouts, as you can see, some of these haven't changed because it's a different text and background color. That one is this lighter color. So I'm gonna add in a fun orange. And as you can see, that automatically changed. This one is the text color, my overall text color. So I'm just gonna change that maybe to a dark blue. All of that font is that dark blue color. The one thing I really love is this link color. You know, every time in Google that we change a link or make text a link, it highlights it in this blue color. Sometimes I get bored with that and I like things to stick out. But I actually wanna change my link color to black. I can exit out of the master and here is my my slides and I'm going to put in a title and body slide just to show you that my text is going to be blue and because I want to highlight something so I'm gonna link this 
And I don't have a hyperlink that I'm gonna put in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and link it back to the first slide in my presentation. And you see it changed to black. All right, so I'm gonna go back into master slide. And this was how to just edit what is already here. But maybe I wanna create a template of something. Maybe I wanna make something specifically that I'm doing a project for my students. You can delete any of these out. So let's say you never need a section header. I'm just gonna right click on that and delete it. So I don't even have that as my choice anymore when I pull this menu down. And you can do that with anything that you feel like you're not gonna use, like this number one, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that out. Now I don't have it anymore. But I like to scroll down to the bottom so I know that where my particular new slide layout is. And I can just right click and I do new layout. So it gives me a basic layout here. I can name this too. I can say note card. So maybe I'm having my students do a research project and I wanna template this out. So I'm gonna do it digitally instead of my students writing it on an actual note card. I'm going to make a note card template so that they can take their notes and and cite their sources and keep their citations. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that out and I'm gonna start from scratch. Instead of grabbing a text box, I'm actually gonna do an insert placeholder. I like to use the subtitle placeholders. I'm gonna do a subtitle placeholder right there and I'm gonna add a text box here and I'm gonna pop in the word name. So now my students have a place to put their name. And then I can do another placeholder I'm gonna add another text box that says name of source. And then I'm gonna put a body text holder in. And I know it looks like this, but it won't look that way for students. And I'm gonna add one more text box. Now, if I was truly doing this in class and setting this up as a note card template, obviously there would be more information that I would ask for them on here. Then I can come down here. So this is note card one. So I want them to have three note cards and I'm gonna say duplicate layout. I'm gonna duplicate this layout one more time. So I want them to have three note cards. So this will be, I'm gonna rename, and this is gonna be note card two. I'm gonna rename this as note card three. And what I like about this is, let's say I wanted them to have a magazine source, a book source, and a newspaper source. I can redo this and say, magazine source. And so they know that each one is something different. I'm gonna X out, and when my students get here, when I give this to them, they'll all get their own copy. They can actually scroll down here and they see note card one, note card two, note card three. So if they were to ever accidentally delete anything, they already have it back up here in the layouts and the, so they can add all three of their note cards themselves when they're ready. And so now they have it here. Super simple to create these templates. You can spend all day probably color scheming and adding some of the fixed images that you want on here. But this is a really nice option for master slide, not only to fix content to the screen like the dog, and so it doesn't move, but also that you can add text placeholders like this where the students can begin typing. And remember I told you that it looked really funky when you first added the body text placeholder, but they won't see it when you actually get out of the master slide. It just says to add text. So I hope this tutorial on beginnings of the master slide is helpful to understand the purpose and use behind master slide.